finding a place to live that people can afford may be the biggest problem in South Florida right now. Today, Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava called a summit to address the housing crisis. Our senior political reporter, Michael Putney, is live at Lone Depot Park, where that summit just wrapped up. Michael. Louis, the affordable housing crisis is fixable. There is a way out of it. That is the message coming out of a day-long mayor summit on housing here at Lone Depot Park. MiamiDade.gov slash housing tracker. The stadium that normally hosts baseball fans today welcome fans of affordable and workforce housing. It's in short supply. It's a problem that is not going away anytime soon and we focus on a particular demographic that no one else is serving so we've got our marching orders which is to put low-income families in homes. Across South Florida the cost of single-family homes has skyrocketed. The median price in Miami-Dade and Broward is $550,000, putting home ownership almost out of reach. A young person coming out of college, and even in their early 30s, a couple years in the workforce, how can they afford a house at $400,000? Rents have also shot up by 60% in Miami-Dade since the pandemic began. We want the public to know that we are here for you. We are here fighting to make sure that you can afford to live here. There are some real estate developers like Ted C that specialize in affordable housing. They're churning out units in Cutler Bay and Liberty City. In that area alone, we have nearly 800 units, whether it be for the elderly, whether it be for affordable traditional, or whether it be for workforce. Today, Miami-Dade Public Schools announced they'll build affordable housing at three school sites. Dr. Dutrich, altogether, how many units for teachers, staff are you gonna have? Right now, what I can project is the, the additional right now is 150. And the mayor says thousands of affordable housing units are in the pipeline. We've announced the 18,000 additional units on top of the 14,000 that were in the process, so that's 32,000. And with the building block fund, 75 million and up to another 100 million in the wings, that's thousands of more. The so there is money and a plan to relieve the affordable housing crisis. Problem is, it'll take months, if not years, before all that affordable housing comes on the market. In the meantime, the rent is due on the first of the month. Mm -hmm. That's tomorrow. We are live in Miami. Michael Putney, Local 10 News. It is a crisis, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michael.